I, did, I do recall seeing one. I'm sure you get tons of them, but one comment on a on a uh, a lot of people like to talk shit, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's part of it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, some someone complaining about a, I guess one of one around six thousand or so oh, about the price. Yeah. Yeah, I think well right now the most and the highest priced one right now is I think like 3200. But yeah, a lot of people like I've gotten some like people get upset about it. Yeah. Like how can you charge that much for it? <laughs> and although uh there's there's long been this thing between art and value and the value right. of art and that, you know its collectability or and kind of the controversy and it's something I thought was super interesting when I was when I was a kid as well as, you know, the people like Picasso, like, oh, my, my child could paint, make that painting. Right. You know, yeah. It's millions of dollars. I always thought that was a, that was an interesting controversy, but just the whole idea of assigning value to art. Uh, there's parallels between how we assign value to a piece of paper that we call money, you know, in, yeah. in a way it's obviously not, it's, it's apples and oranges, but it's, a, but it's, there's, it's literally there's about the same. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's huge, there's huge parallels. It's all, I mean, it's, it's yeah. a, it's a volume. Yeah. It's, it's, because yeah. I'm, I'm not, um, and, and, literally like I, yeah, and I, I always thought that was interesting and that is one of the themes because it's supposed to be the, you know, like this dented can costs thousands of dollars. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get it. It's that achieves that. That con- you know that statement is controversial, but the whole story is, you know, I spent 15 years developing this. That can that one sculpture itself, before achieving it successfully, I tried that sculpture eight times. Yeah. Over the course of two years. Yeah. Um, it took 20 hours to create. It took 20 hours to sculpt. You know, it took four hours to to med- meticulously polish. Uh, after it was created, it was you know it, it took you know, an eight hour day to document it, to, to do all, you know, there's a lot of, there's more, could, there's more to it, dude. There's, there's sure. more to it. Exactly. Like, I, I, could, I like the, your price. Like could go on. I, I like could, your price. Up yeah. it up. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is that over time it, it has grown. Right. And, but also my, my attention to the detail has grown. Um, but it is something that's supposed to grow in value. And I've never been a money person. Like, and I'm not, I'm not like borderline, uh, autistic or anything like that. Not, not that I, I've never been tested, but I don't, I mean, but I'm not money minded. If to say, put it, to put it this way, if like my, the way that I understand money and value is directly created, uh, connected to, to art. So, uh, it's kind of my frame of reference for it, but something like, even as a child is something I never really caught on to. Like right. a car, like a car was thousands of dollars and that just seemed like this astronomical, amount of money to me so uh and that that's something i've never like i don't i'm not the best at uh at assigning value to money itself and like it's it's a little bit abstract to me i would say like i'm not not, and i've learned that over time i'm not necessarily bad with money um but it's not i don't i don't think that way in the way that a lot of people do i can gotcha. and is there it, may is be it, is important there's not much importance in it or or, or not a, well, a huge well no it's not well that's it's not a motivation for me and gotcha. so i do i think i'm like i'm very fortunate to to make money making art because i have to make art and like the thing is i would ha- i would have to do this whether it was sex, sex or a success or not right you know if nobody was buying my art i would still be making it and i would be working somewhere and doing it in my spare time. So it's not, I don't do it f- for the money, um, which you might get the impression that that might be the impression if someone didn't know me that these high price sculptures, yeah. it's like this thing that, that whole narrative maybe give that it might have that vibe. Uh, but part, part of the direction that that story is going is it, with the value building over time is to create priceless art. That's, that's an, or for it to for them to become priceless, which is that I mean it's it's ironic that things get more and more expensive, you know, like these uh, not like uh, archaeological relics or something like okay, these most yeah. valuable things that you can consider like you know ancient paintings or art um, that are priceless because they they go beyond value to the fact that there's not there's no longer a price. Right. It's like that kind of shines light on. Uh, 
like you're saying, how we assign money or assign value to a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, it's like this whole idea. It's a very human idea, uh, and it can contradict itself in that in that way. If something to literally say priceless, which means is it do you mean zero or do you mean so much money? It's not a price. Like I know that's not a thing. There's yeah. billionaires. That's a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, there can't be something that costs more than that. We're talking like yeah, you're buy they the, can't get it. Buy the world. Yeah, you know, buy every country in the world. Have enough money to do that. I don't know. It starts to become just this. It starts to become an abstract thing. Yeah, uh, and in a way, because people are also uh, when you start talking about numbers like that, like we can all f- can imagine what a hundred of something is. We all are familiar with hundred dollars and like what we can buy with a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or $10,000 or like, you know, you can spend, you know, f- easily 500, a half a million dollars to buy a house. Right. That's something that people buy all the time. Yeah. And that's, uh, but going beyond that is something. So like a million dollars, that's a lot, but a billion dollars. Yeah. Like people, I don't think people really, uh, have have a frame of reference for the for what what's different about a million and a billion yeah it's insane yeah have you there's a there's an app uh or, or a web app called um spend spend bill's gates money i believe it's called yeah and like what and you could do with what the, you can do with it yeah, and yeah. It, you know it starts with ice cream cones and starts with <laughs> you know through three dollar this three dollar that and then it then it goes to aircraft carriers and like and you you you're sitting there hitting the button each each time you hit the button it's one purchase of that that okay. item so and they even put it in like football teams yeah and stuff like that and yeah. you're sitting here tapping for like even the highest thing for Bill Gates money I, I'll I'll send it to your show yeah that'd be it's, interesting it's it's tremendous yeah but like you, then you really it starts to set in you're like oh wow that's that's different. <laughs> That's yeah, different yeah. than what what I got going on here. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother to to actually look Google it, but uh, and I know these numbers are not they're not exact, but uh, a million seconds is like twelve days. A million seconds mm-hmm. is twelve days. A billion seconds is thirty three years. Or thirty something years. Do you want me to? Get, yeah, you just framed it again. <laughs> you want me? To, I can yeah. actually. I can. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, here. if you want to pull it up, go for it. I do. I do want to talk as well. Uh, just or or just say something about the cans as well, because I came from your show, or I guess a joint show at uh, Epoch. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think I came home and just had like a PBR can chilling in my hand. And you try. And it. you try it. That's what I want to say to all the people as well. That that I, that's what I would like to say. It's like you just know, try it. yeah, just try it. Just sit down for five minutes and try to put try to put two two dents in. I I like I do, two I, equal dents. Try it. That, that's <laughs> also why. That's also why I publish content that shows yeah. the process is, um, is so people can so they can see it and try it. Uh, and before I look up this the the the, the million billion seconds. Thing, uh, <laughs> A lot of people do try it, and they'll reach out to me and show and share with me what they've done. And that the, there's there's people that get it. Yeah. Like, uh, and w- when I had like with this with this international exposure, um, it, there was many instances, and it still happens to this day. Uh, like, w- there's been whole art classes that studied my videos and then had a whole art class try it. Wow. Uh, and the, the art teacher actually sent me photos from a couple of the students that had that had did like a really they, good job. And they're getting yeah. it on, like they, yeah, they're doing yeah. they're doing well with it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's something that I have planned in the future. It's something that that's in the works right now is to do is to have an actual instructional uh, video series. Okay. Is you know it would actually the first one would be just an introduction. It would be a you know a simple introduction, and then it could go. Uh, but I, I will say it's something I plan on doing and it's something that I really appreciate about the art and about connecting with, with people who, because it's something you can try very easily. It's something, yeah. it's very accessible. Very, uh, like, oh shit, I can, which I can try I think, this right now. That's, which yeah, that right tremendous. there is a huge, like, I think art should be accessible and creating art should be accessible. And that's one of the other things about this is like, it's, it's just a can. Yeah. You know, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 